Lush Ibi. And you. Some more fire, some more epicness for your eyes and ears. Is, Welcome back. Is this really fire? Hmm? Is, is it really fire? Uh, it seems to be like a, like, what do you call it? A garbage fire? Yeah. A dumpster fire? Sure, let's call it that. I don't know why these seemingly innocent yet devastating mistakes keep happening. Particularly in the West, towards the Arab culture. Heavy emphasis on mistakes. There's so many unintentional things that happen that seem to insult the, the, the fabric of the Arab culture yeah. over and over and over again. Even the Islamic uh, culture in some cases. When we think about Rihanna's video, which I will link to, using the ayah or using the hadith, pardon me, talking about the Day of Judgment while she, there's half-naked women rubbing their bodies selling lingerie. Or you think about, you know, the use of the, 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 the kafiyyeh, the, the scarf, the appropriation of that, and people not really knowing the true struggle and resistance meaning behind it or the cultural relevance behind it. And now, once again, we are met with a, a new issue. Now, I don't want to come off as sounding triggered. I don't want to come off as sounding what I call is pre-offended. There's a, there's a huge culture now of people walking around pre-offended. Like, you know those microwave dinners? It's like they're just literally just barely offended. They need the smallest thing to push them. And believe me, I'm not. In fact, I'm actually quite liberal when it comes to this stuff. I'm very accepting of interpretations and, and sort of co cultural um, conversations and whatnot. But in this case, it's hard. It's hard to keep giving people the benefit of the doubt when all I can do is doubt that they did something in our benefit. This keeps on happening over and over and over and over. What are we talking about? Here in Canada, we have a massive company called Structube. They're comparable to Ikea. They sell furniture, they sell uh, um, accessories, and it's just like a, a home furniture store. The news broke just a couple of days ago that these garbage bins are named after two very, very important names, not only in Islam, but in the Arab culture as a whole. Non-Muslims use these names. What are these names, Ibi? Walid and Wasim. Walid and Wasim. These are the names that they chose to name their garbages after. By wow. mistake. Are we being, by mistake, are we being too much? Are we asking for too much in this case, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, what, what, what more, how much more can we take when we think about the past 10, 15 years of mistakes and appropriation and this subliminal racism? Now, somebody that doesn't know these names, now they're going to associate the name Wasim and Walid to garbage bins. How is that acceptable? It's not. Now, you may ask, what is Walid for the non-Arab uh, speakers on this channel? Both names coming from Arabia, coming from the Arab culture. Uh, Walid meaning uh, literally a child, a newborn uh, child. In modern Arabic, it's Walad. Walid is sort of the, the it's a variant of the, the, the word child. Uh, and it's a very, very important name because Walid actually of his, uh, religious significance was known to have been one of the uh, companions of the Prophet. Uh, oh, yeah. Salam, and, and, and also a great warrior in Islam. And so here we are. We've reduced his name. This company has reduced his name to something that we dispose our garbage in. Even if we're going to say it's a mistake, your company is so big. There is no way... That one person did not open their eyes and be like, hey, not only inappropriate or bad, it's also inexcusable in my opinion. This is just like overboard at this point. This is a capitalist lucrative company that is aiming to make money and they chose to sell garbages named after Walid and Wasim on their website in exchange for money as a way for them to profit off of these names yeah. and for them to keep trying to be trendy like IKEA does with their with their Swedish names and their their Nordic Scandinavian names it's very trendy it's like oh cool you know Hoffenstein you know like whatever that means for a chair or a stool it's like here in the west we're like yeah we're trendy we're cool 
Structube failed. This is a massive fail on their part to try to be trendy, cool. Their marketing department needs to be fired, like blanket firing, because it also shows the lack of diversity that exists within the corporation, within the company itself. Not one person raised their hand before that thing went to the website. And uh, moving on to the name uh, Wasim, which actually means handsome and uh, it's beauty at the end of the day. And so you take one word, Walid, which means a beautiful, innocent uh, child, a newborn, often for it's a male name. And then you have Wasim, which actually means beauty. Beauty in Arabic, and we're naming a garbage after after this this word. Out of all words, I swear to God, if they had like uh, another like uh, arbitrary word, zabala, zabala, struck stru stru tube. If you're watching, zabala, z a b a l a. This is what garbage means in Arabic. You want to be trendy and cool and hip and oh my God, here we are, zabala. And that's exactly what you guys proved to be, a big Zabala. Here's, here's what really got me. Forget, forget the actual uh, crime itself. The, the response to it, I think, is what really, really... Just wait. We can assure you that the bins were not named with ill intent. Our product names are chosen at random, often prior to knowing the specifics of the product. This is from, from Structube themselves. So you're gonna name things at random. You're not gonna, <laughs> it means gone. So you're not gonna know the significance of these names before selling garbages. Impossible, man. Impossible. I even found, which is actually le a lesser sort of offense, if you will, but there's carpets named Samira on their website, which is a, a widely known and used name in, in Arabic as well. And so, the, the conversation is not that these names aren't, can't be used, it's that they're being used for the things that society thinks the least of. You know, like a garbage bin or a carpet that is literally walk what people want. On. Yeah, bro, at this point, I think it's a publicity stunt. I'm, I'm personally boycotting them. I won't be, I won't be making any more purchases uh, from there. But again, our product names are chosen at random often prior to knowing the specifics of the products and you sell garbage bins, really? And here's my thing, bro. It's like, it's not even like they're remotely close to the names. It's the exact same spelling. Dead on. Yeah, Dead yeah. on. Wasim has two S's. Walid is with a W-A-L-I-D. There's um, parts in North Africa where it's O-U-A-L-I-D, mm -hmm. like yeah. Walid in French. Yeah. But even still, Wasim, it's not like it's uh, W... Uh, a H S E E M. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like well, that's like a stretch. I'll be like, all right, cool. They kind of. I think there's similarities there, but mm -hmm. it's not the actual name. This is the actual name. If you ask in Arabic, how do how do you translate uh, the literal translation of the two names? This is how it would literally come to the T. Yeah. So that that that's really what got me. They don't know. They say they're claiming. They don't know. It's an innocent mistake. Yeah, Habibi. We come out with names, and we don't know. We. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? <laughs> it just happened. It just happened. Yeah. I didn't see it. It's just... The garbage is named Walid. We're gonna make garbage names. Name Jesus! Soon. <laughs> how, would, how, would that, how would that come out? I would still be offended. No, I mean, like, right. <laughs> like, 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 religiously also. Yeah. But what are we, like, what are we doing here, you know? Then I, I kind of searched on the website and I found Samira as the rug. But then I found this. Which is a beautiful, absolutely, you know, stunning picture which I was going to order for, for the office, Arcade of Hassan. Now, I'm not entirely sure, sure why they, they use the, the word Arcade, but it seems to have been referred to in other websites as well, selling the same mm -hmm. picture. Um, it's the Hassan the Second Grand Mosque uh, in Casablanca, Morocco. It is uh, one of the largest mosques, still functioning mosques in the world. They got it right. Here. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous, but they got it right. It's the arcade of Hassan. Why, why, why do you show such precision and accuracy in some cases, and then in other cases it's random and we don't know which name is going on an item? Now that's embarrassing. So, I mean, so StripTube went ahead and issued uh, a little something something to try to salvage whatever dignity uh, they thought they had left to our community. We recently posted uh, some new garbage bins 
to our website using common names. It has been rightfully brought to our attention that naming garbage bins after anyone's name can be offensive. Not can be. What do you mean it's... can be? <laughs> what culture is okay with this? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Bro, I don't know, man. This is just beyond me at this point. Like, Particularly if the name is suggestive of any ethnic, religious, or other minority group. Structube wishes to apologize to anyone who has been offended by this insensitive use of names. It was completely unintentional and rest assured, we will be more thoughtful when naming our products. Uh, I don't know about that. So there you have it. I mean, apology is an apology. I mean, we can't really argue with that. Uh, like I said, your marketing department needs to be fired and, and to show, especially because it's a Canadian company, like here in Canada, when you think about the diversity. Oh, it's so diverse, man. Like, like how, how how could this have been an oversight? You know, like really here of and, all places. And that's what I'm talking about. Um, that's why when I say there is absolutely no way one person did not think that this is not wrong. Yeah. Like, it, like, like, doesn't make any sense. And these are not rare names. At all. These are very common <laughs> names. Th th this is literally how we pay homage to those who came before us and hopefully those who come after us. And there's a story to tell. And these cultural, historic, religious stories mean a lot to us. And it may not mean a lot to other cultures, but even still, they could have named anything a desk. A chair I would have let slide, even though someone's behind uh, touches it. But they picked literally the lowest of the low, and they and they went after went after this. So now we're normalizing the 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 you know the use and the appropriation of our words to begin with, and then they're associating it to something as dirty and, and despicable as, as a garbage. Let me know your thoughts on this. We wanted to flag it because the collective, the family, does not let anything slide. Because they're sitting here selling garbages, and we're sitting here saying... Zbele. Zbele.